Rainbow Six. Experts in close quarters battle and hostage rescue. Assembled from special forces teams around the world. The counter-terrorism units. Codename Ella, member of Team Rainbow. Just give me my objective, then sit back and wait for the good news. Elsbieta Bosak, codename Ella. Part of Team Rainbow who are involved in the recent incident in Bolifa. And is temporarily working with Rhodes Island. Considering Team Rainbow circumstances, certain information about them is unknown or undisclosed. And given her nature, Ella is not very keen to share stories about her life. But we learned that Ella is the daughter of a respected special forces commander in her homeland. Who has a significant impact on her own, and her sister's life and military career. Interestingly, her sister called Zofia, is also part of Team Rainbow. But it seems there's a rift in their relationship. For field missions, aside from her strange guns, Ella will bring along her Grismot Mines. A special device that can stick on any surface, impairing hearing, and causing dizzying effect to anyone within its radius. So, Ella from Siege Collaboration, is our newest 6 star operator. And the second 6 star in Trap Master archetype after Dorothy. True to her archetype name, Ella can deploy her mines to assist in combat. However, you will see that she is very different, arguably better, from other trappers we have seen so far. But for now let's see her stats. Aside from range, Trap Master have a noticeable similarity with Marksman Sniper when it comes to stats. Such as average attack, very quick interval, dirt cheap cost, and pretty squishy. With this attack amount, Ella's normal attack will have a hard time to defeat someone with B defense stat. She does have a talent that multiplies her damage. But pretty much if you want her to deal with tanky enemies, you will need to use her skills, and or mines. Moving on, let's see her talent. So far all trap master have pretty much the same first talent. It dictates how many traps they can deploy and carry, and how the trap will trigger. But Ella first talent is the first thing that makes her very different from her peers. Because like her siege counterpart, her traps will simply trigger when someone enters its proximity. Unlike other trappers that need enemies to step on their trap first. Not to mention, the debuff from the mine will affect every enemies within its radius. Straight up erasing some of the troublesome things when using trap master. Such as you will need careful planning to effectively make enemies step on their traps. And overall, this talent makes Ella a very flexible debuffer, especially when you have unlocked her module. Other things that make her very distinct from other trappers, is that her mines don't deal any damage, they are all pure utility. And she has fewer traps than others. Although it's definitely something you can easily manage to get through the stage. Also if you're wondering, her traps won't affect aerial units. Low altitude hovering included. Although with her DPS skills. She should be another great specialist to counter flying enemies. Additionally, when she retreats, she will trigger her mine effect right from where she's standing. This gimmick likely reference her siege version, but let's compare some other day. Now let's see her second talent. With this. Ella has some chance to deal critical damage. And this effect is guaranteed if the enemies are affected by her mines. This plays a significant part to maximize her damage. So better not to waste her traps when you want her to inflict big blow to the enemies. Then this is her potential upgrade list, from increasing her attack and decreasing cost. The first talent enhancement will make her able to deploy 4 mines at the same time. But considering her traps are more of a deploy on demand type, I don't think readying multiple mines on the field are necessary to begin with. And second talent will increase the damage multiplier slightly. Overall it's a nice improvement, but much like everyone else. She's okay without extra pot. Moving on, let's see her module. Interestingly, she got a special delta module. 
and this plays a big part in improving her and her mind's flexibility. As this would allow Ella to be deployed on melee tiles. And traps can be deployed on range tiles. As well as increasing her attack and defense. For the upgrade. It will improve her second talent. Increasing the proc chance and damage multiplier on each level. I highly recommend you unlock her level 1 module. Making Ella's positioning flexible. And you can use her as a temporary bloker. And perhaps avoid certain ranged only death blows. And her traps can be deployed on range tiles. Meaning you will have more options to place her mines. In case the ground tiles near the enemies are occupied. Or something like that. The upgrade is useful to increase her damage output. And make Ella slightly less reliant on her mines to deal big damage. But all and all, focus on unlocking the base effect first. Now let's talk skills. Like the trap master but for her, her skills will dictate what kind of effect that her minds will inflict. Her skill 1 works similarly like all trap master skills, having both passive and active effects. With the active is just her way to obtain a new mine. Anyway, skill 1 will inflict slow and reduce the enemy accuracy for 10 seconds. This accuracy, or whatever the global server is going to call it later, is a brand new mechanic, that will make enemies have some chance to completely miss their physical, or arts attacks. In Ella's case, it sounds useful, but actually it is one hell of an RNG. And overall I recommend you don't focus on mastering this skill. Not only because of the accuracy stuff, but because this skill doesn't do anything to improve her attacks like what her other skills do. The slow effect is actually good, especially considering you can instantly use her mine again to prolong the effect. But her skill 3 also inflicts slow, so her skill 1 is pretty much a skip. As for skill 2, Ella will deploy her shield and use her shotty. The shield will provide her some defense boots, and the shotgun makes her able to deal splash damage, at the cost of her range slightly shortened. Her attack now also ignores a flat amount of defense. And she will gain one new mine once the skill ends. The attack from this skill provides a nice way to handle crowds, and dealing with armored targets she normally can't defeat. Although with that much defense ignore, and without attack boos, it's mostly just good for clearing trash mob, and some elites. The defense boost at M3, should make her defense stats equal to some defender archetype. But it's definitely not recommended to use her as a full time bait unit, or bloker. Considering she will become vulnerable again during off skill. Not to mention her low HP. As for the mine effect, her mine will now stun the enemies for 5 seconds. Which you can prolong to around 20 seconds, by simply deploying her mine again and again. So considering how her mine works, I think this skill is one if not the best stun applicator in the game. Although with how slow she obtains a new mine, you cannot always spam it. As for this skill drawbacks, it's mostly from the fact that this skill has offensive recovery. So without targets to attack or SP support, she won't charge her SP, and might end up making obtaining a new mine difficult. Although considering the cost and her quick attack speed, it's far from being the worst offensive recovery skill. Last but definitely not least, her skill 3. This time her mind will inflict slow like S1, but also fragile effect. And much like S2, she will get 2 mines once the skill ends. With this skill, she officially becomes another flexible fragile source, that you can use almost everywhere on the map similar to Thermal X. Definitely useful for herself and other operators. And I really mean that when I say for herself. Because this skill is also a great DPS source thanks to the attack boost, talent 1 multiplier, and fragile from her mine. And should have enough firepower to deal significant blows to some tanky bosses. Moreover, this skill uses an ammo mechanism. Which makes managing the timing for this skill, and obtaining new mines easier. And you can worry less about wasting ammo, 
because the game conveniently makes her prioritize targeting someone affected by her minds. The nature of this skill also makes Ella a perfect specialist to counter aerial units. All and all, an amazing skill. Alright, the best skill to prioritize to master is pretty much just S3. It's her best DPS skill, and arguably the best effect from her mine as well. The mastery is gain also pretty great. To increase her attack bonus, and increase the fragile amount. Although I can also see the stun and AoE attack from her S2 be useful for some situations. And actually the mastery gain of S2 isn't bad. But definitely focus on her S3 first. As for her base skill, when in the training room, for every defender in the base, increase training speed of other operators by 10%. But keep in mind this defender is not a defender class. It is a defender, as in R6 defenders. So this includes Ella herself, the Frenchman, Tachanka in Frost. And if she is in the control center, it will be easier to obtain clues that you don't have on the board. But she will increase moral consumption of every operators in the control center. So ladies and gentlemen. That is why you should get and build Della. A strong and flexible trap master specialist. That is useful for almost any content. Like most main story and event stages. And other game modes like integrated strategies. She is also already useful at Elite 1. And should be easy to use and at the same time useful for new players, and undoubtedly for veterans as well. But the biggest reason why you should get her, is that she is a super limited character. Since she only came to Arknights because of collaboration, there's no guarantee she will ever come back if you miss her in her event, so make sure to try to get her. That should be all. Adios. Hola